Hi everyone, you're all in for a real treat today. Um, I have a really nice geometry problem. It is not that easy. It took me around three to four hours to solve this. Um, so while it looks simple, the solution is not that easy. And I would say those are kind of the geometry problems that, are, that I like the most. They're the ones where it looks like it should be simple enough that there should be an easy solution, but it's, it's hard to find the solution. Um, so after you, so try this problem on your own. Um, you can pause the video right now, see if you can figure it out. Um, and then if you do end up solving it, you can try comparing it with my solution. And if you have something different, I'd love for you to uh, post it in the comments. Um, so thank you for watching my video. So we have an acute triangle ABC. Uh, it has an in circle with center I, and the three tangency points are A1, B1, and C1. M is the midpoint of side AC. You drop a perpendicular from M to A1, C1, and it meets it at J. And N is the midpoint of arc ABC of the circumcircle of triangle ABC. So we want to show that N, J, and I are collinear. So how might we go about this? Well, first of all, um, whenever I see a problem that has both an in-center and a midpoint of a side, what I do is I try to construct a point that's uh, the midpoint of, of the arc corresponding to that side. So in this case, D is the midpoint of arc AC. And since I lies on the angle bisector of ABC, B, I, and D have to be collinear. So I'll draw on that segment. But then also D, M, and N have to be collinear. That's part of the reason why I constructed the point D in the first place, because it, it kind of has a little bit of synergy with both points I and M. It has synergy with point M because uh, D, M, and N are collinear by symmetry, and uh, D, N has to be a diameter. But it also has some symmetry, with, it also has some synergy with point I because B, I, D is an angle bisector. Um, and the angle bisector always meets the arc at the midpoint. So the bisector of ABC has to hit at the midpoint of the minor arc AC. Okay, so I'll draw in uh, the diameter DN passing through M. Okay, so where do we go from here? We want to show that I, J, and N are collinear. And one of my favorite ways to show that three points are collinear is to use ratios. Um, so basically what I'll do is, so, so one thing that we first want to note is that um, BD is perpendicular to A1, C1 um, by symmetry um, because BI is an angle bisector um, and BA1 and BC1 are both tangents to the end circle. So those two lines have to be perpendicular, but from the problem statement, JM is also perpendicular to A1, C1. So since they're both perpendicular to A1, C1, we have to have BD is parallel to JM. So this kind of is what made me think of using sort of ratios uh, to show that I, J, and N are collinear. Now at first, when I first looked at this problem, I wanted to try to show that JM over ID is equal to NM over ND. So if we could show that this segment over this segment is equal to this segment over this segment, then since 
IB and JM are parallel, that would prove that I, J, N all lie on the same line. However, and, and it's possible that some of you might be able to find a way for this approach to work, but I had some trouble getting a handle on the segment J, M. I couldn't exactly figure out how to um, get an equation involving that. So instead, I try to do the following method. Um, so I'm going to add a couple more points to the diagram. So I'm going to I'm going to let JM meet BN at point E and let A1C1 meet B1I at F. So we have a lot of perpendicular lines here. Um, BD is perpendicular to BN because DN is a diameter. So we have a perpendicular there. Um, as I mentioned before, BF is perpendicular to A1C1. We also have MJ as perpendicular to A1C1. So if you think about it, BEJF has to be a rectangle. Um, so part of the reason you might think, what drove me to do that? Why would I think to do that? Um, part of the reason why I did that was because I realized that I have a pretty good handle on the length of the segment BF, but I don't have such a good handle on the length of the segment JM in the figure. So I kind of figured, how can I utilize the length of the segment BF instead? And by extending segment JM to meet BN at E, now I know that JE is equal to BF. So it's, it's easier to work with EJ and BF than it is JM. And so that's kind of why I did this. Um, and now we can use ratios in a different way to show that i, j, and n are collinear. Um, so before I was trying to show i, d, or j, m over i, d equals n, m over n, d, which would show it. But now I'm going to try a different approach. I'm going to try to show that n, e over n, b is equal to Ej over Bi, and this will prove that Ij and N lie on the same line because Bi and Ej are parallel. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Um, so we want to try to use similar triangles to show this, and so one um, pretty crucial observation here is to note that triangle NAD is similar to triangle BA1I. Um, now, why did I think to, to try to check that these triangles are similar? Well, I kind, to be honest, I kind of tried to back into it from the final result. So, um, So first of all, and, and I'm going to, what we do is we sort of solve geometry problems in reverse, but then we write the proof going forward. So basically I noticed that, that um, we wanted to show that BE over BN, or I'm sorry, NE over NB is equal to EJ over BI. But we know that any over NB is NM over ND because um, BD and EM are parallel. And so I wanted to try to get a handle on what is NM over ND. Um, and if you work through the problem, you have to eventually show that NM over ND is BF over BI. So you kind of realize that when you sort of work through the ratios. So, but then once you see that, 
that's kind of what led me to find this these two similar triangles um, because that'll show that that ratio is true so triangle NAD um, how do we know it's similar to um, BA1I well first of all they're both right triangles because NAD is a right angle because ND is a diameter but then also, BA1I is a right angle because BA1 is tangent to the in circle. So they're both right triangles. But then we also have the following angle chase. So angle A and D is equal to angle ABD because uh, they intersect the same arc. But that's equal to angle A1BI because BI is an angle bisector. So the two triangles NAD and BAI both share two common angles and so they have to be similar triangles. And from there, we get the ratio I was talking about before. So, so note that in those two triangles, NAD and BAI, um, for NAD, AM is the perpendicular um, from A to the hypotenuse, and in BA1I, AF is the perpendicular to the hypotenuse BI. So those two segments, AM and A1F, are corresponding segments of the two similar triangles. And so um, you can see from there that BF over BI has to be NM over, uh, it should be NM over ND, I'm sorry. Um, so if you can sort of just correct that M to an N in your mind. Um, and then, but as I mentioned before, NM over ND is equal to NE over NB. So, um, but what we wanted to show, we wanted to show that NE over NB was, was EJ over BI. But, e, but BF is equal to EJ, so we have EJ over BI is NE over NB, and because EJ and BI are parallel, that shows that IJ and N must lie on the same line, and that completes the proof. So I hope you all like this problem, and I hope that you find other creative solutions and I would love it if you shared it. Um, so if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.